Just to share with you, a 23 year old woman was killed by her ex boyfriend before he turned the gun on himself. Deputies tell ABC 13 he showed up to her house in southwest Harris County, where she was with her current boyfriend and family. He showed up telling her he was just there to talk. ABC 13's Brooke Taylor has been following the story since it broke late today. She's live tonight with an update. Brooke. When that ex boyfriend Tom got to the home behind me, deputies say that he was friendly. Family members told them there was no fighting or arguing, so no one had any reason to be alarmed. Those family members have been out here all afternoon leaning on each other for support. They are heartbroken and tell me their loved one did not deserve to die like this. 23 year old Tamara Sawyer found shot to death in her bedroom. Deputies say her on and off ex boyfriend killed her before killing himself. He called her earlier today. Then at about three o'clock this afternoon, he showed up. The female allowed him in. The two went into her bedroom where she lives with her family on Rain Willow Court with the door locked. They were there just 10 minutes. Other family members inside the house heard about three gunshots. They went to the room. Uh, they discovered her um, with gunshot wounds. He uh, still had a gun at the time. Sawyer's current boyfriend was also inside the house. He and her family members there called 911, and that's when investigators say the ex-boyfriend took his own life. Sawyer's family members tell us she was the baby of the family, a sweetheart, loved fashion, and always was on the right path. She just went back to school at Houston Community College to study nursing, a passion of hers. Just a few weeks ago, Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez said about 35% of homicides in Harris County have been domestic violence related so far this year. We don't take it lightly and we, you know, we just encourage people who are there again, who are in these volatile relationships to reach out for services. Deputies say they aren't aware of any history of violence between Sawyer and her ex-boyfriend. In South Harris County, Brooke Taylor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.